She's gone. You will never meet someone like her again. It hurts so bad, but why? What's the actual science behind a heartbreak? Well, the whole process can be summarized in six stages. Stage one, denial. Your relationship just ended, but you're telling yourself, nah, we're just on a break. We'll be back together in no time, right? Right? You know you're just lying to yourself, but why is that happening? Because your brain wants to escape the pain. It was shown that after a breakup, dopamine level spikes whenever you think about your ex. Your brain tries to get out all the psychological pain by thinking about the good moments you have with her. You can still smell her perfume, and you can still remember her touch. These things give you dopamine, and since dopamine is involved, this process becomes as addictive as a drug. In these moments, you might even experience withdrawal symptoms like anxiety or insomnia, the same symptoms some might experience when quitting drugs. But why is your brain doing that in the first place? Well, your brain actually represses painful emotions temporarily to prevent you from having a full-on mental breakdown. It's like putting on emotional blinders when your heart is getting hit by a wrecking ball. Yet, even though this guy is good at his job, he can only protect you for so long. Stage 2. Anger. This is when you go from, I miss them so much, to, I hope they step on a Lego piece barefoot. Why does anger even happen? A good example for this is Davy Jones's case from Pirates of the Caribbean. After he fell in love with Calypso, the goddess of the sea, she put him in charge of rescuing lost men at sea. After 10 years of service, they would meet on shore and be together. But she betrayed him. So full of rage and injustice, he killed all men lost at sea. In this case, you are Davy Jones, and the pain she caused fills your brain with injustice and rage. But why is our brain going into destructive mode when it's actually paralyzed in pain? Well, researchers from the University of Colorado found that when we feel rejected, our brain activates the same area that processes physical pain, triggering anger. So when you're feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, it's because your brain literally can't tell the difference between emotional and physical pain. Thanks, brain, I guess. But despite what you believe, your brain can't simply let you suffer forever, which is why it slowly switches you over to something even weirder. Stage 3, Bargaining. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Bargaining is where you start negotiating with yourself, trying to find some loophole that will bring your ex back, like, did I do this wrong? Maybe I should have done this. You may even find yourself texting them late at night with things like, Can we talk? Or I miss you? Secretly hoping they'll respond with, I miss you too. But here's the thing. The more you try to hold on, the more you're pushing them away. Psychologists refer to this as the illusion of control. Your brain convinces you that if you just do the right thing, you can reverse the heartbreak. And you obviously can't. Out of all the stages of heartbreak, bargaining might seem like the most random one on the list, However, evolution explains why you experience this. You're so distressed that your brain is actually trying to negotiate its way out of the pain. Bargaining is nothing more than a coping mechanism that your brain uses because you're just way too attached to the person. Not in love, just attached. Once again, there's a reason why we get so attached to our partners, even if they're bad for us or the relationship is awful. John Bowlby's attachment theory explains that strong emotional bonds we form early in life are key for survival. How much fun you have in a relationship or how much you love someone doesn't actually affect attachment. It happens regardless, so when you're attached to this person, which is evolutionarily inevitable, bargaining is a way to maintain that connection even if it's only in your mind. You're not ready to lose them yet, but when you finally accept that it's over and all the bargaining is over, you would expect things to get better. But here's the twist, it gets even worse. Stage 4, Depression. No more denial, no more angry texts, no more bargaining. Just you, some chocolate chip ice cream, and the last Christmas song on repeat. This is when you fully realize it's over. Like, really over. But even though your brain realizes everything is over, this is actually the most painful stage. This stage can feel similar to clinical depression, and scientists have even coined a term for it. Broken Heart Syndrome which basically says that extreme stress from heartbreak can mimic heart attack symptoms, leading to chest pain, shortness of breath, and of course, more tears. And just when you think you've cried out all the tears in your body, guess what? Romantic nostalgia kicks in. A 2017 study from Rutgers University found that people often romanticize past relationships during a breakup. Suddenly you forget all the fights, the red flags, and the reasons you broke up in the first place. 
Instead, you only remember that time you laughed together during a rainy afternoon like you were in a Nicholas Sparks movie. And after this whole emotional tornado, you finally step into Stage 5, Acceptance. Congratulations, you've made it so far. At this point, you finally come to terms with the fact that the relationship is over, and here's the kicker, you're okay with it. No more late night texts, no more sad songs, and no more crying. You've accepted that they're gone, and now you're starting to focus on something much more important, you. But here's the funny thing about acceptance, it sneaks up on you. One day, you're remembering the great moments you had with her, and the next day, you're casually telling a friend, yeah, I don't care anymore. But just because you miss your ex sometimes, doesn't mean you need to start over all the stages. Because guess what? You can miss someone with all your heart and still be over them. Acceptance is like finishing the last level of a video game, you went through so much, and now it's time for step 6, new life. You would think this is the spiritual and glow up part of the story that has no science behind it, but you couldn't be more wrong. Because there is science behind absolutely anything. The answer lies in neuroplasticity. When you're in a relationship, hormones like oxytocin and dopamine are at a constant supply. But when you are having a heartbreak, there is a sudden supply shortage of these hormones. However, your brain is already way too used to those levels of high hormones and it can't just reduce its demand out of the blue. This is when your brain adapts to using new methods like working out, finding a hobby to replenish those feel-good hormones back into your body. So just pick up a new hobby, start journaling, go out with your friends, find God, even make money. And no rush, the key here is to focus on you. What you love and what makes you happy. That was a lot, I know. Look, heartbreak may sting and that's normal, but look at you now, stronger, wiser, and glowing. You've got this. And if you got over your heartbreak, maybe it's time for you to find someone new. Here's a video that will guarantee girls will adore you.